to learn how to find angles with tangent and cotangent. Example number one, tangent theta equals square root of three. So if we go back to the table of sandwich following, we know that square root of three equals 60 degrees. <clears throat> so now we have our angle, 60 degrees. We're in a graphing. Now back over here, we have to find out which quadrant it's in, which, which quadrant we're gonna graph the 60 degrees in. We go back to this over here, the unit table. We know that quadrant number one is a positive. Quadrant number two is a negative. Quadrant number three is a positive, and quadrant number four is a negative. Since our angle is positive, since our this thing is positive, <laughs> um, we're gonna graph in um, quadrant number one and quadrant number three. We graph it out and we find the initial and terminal, which is 60 degrees. So now we have to write it out. 60 degrees plus k equals plus k times 180 degrees, where k is the element of integers. <clears throat> you can do the second one also, but it doesn't really matter because since it's a line, anything you add to this equals 180. Uh, example number two, cotangent of theta equals negative square root of three. Does it get a little complicated because of this little negative sign. The first thing we want to do is convert it into tangent. The way to convert it to tangent is to get the reciprocal. The reciprocal of negative square root of 3 is 1 over square root of 3. But we find ourselves having a problem here because the denominator is not rationalized. So we have to rationalize that denominator. So what we do is multiply 1 over square root of 3 times square root of 3 over square root of 3, which you get a product of negative square root of 3 over 3. Now our de denominator is rationalized. We're good. <clears throat> but we also have to find out which quadrant that one's going to, this, <clears throat> this one's going to fit in. And we also have to find out the angle. The angle of this one is 30 degrees, as you see right here. So we have our angle now. We have to find the quadrant it goes in. Back over here. It goes, since it's a negative, it goes in quadrant number two and quadrant number four. Negative quadrants. Um, it's graphed out right here. Um, we start initially and we end up in the first 30 degrees and we get 150 degrees. So we have to write it out. 150 degrees plus K times 180, where K is the element of integers. You could do that for the second one, which is 330. Write it out also. But remember, you only have to actually write the first one. The second one's not really that important. There you have it. You learned how to find angles with tangent and cotangent, and I don't know how long. Thank <laughs> you.